Hi, so um, this experiment um, is going to be looking at um, four different types of vegetables um, and what we're going to be doing is putting them into um, a hydrogen peroxide solution. Now this is stuff that I just bought from the chemist, you can see here it's uh, here in the UK, um, you can get it as a 9% solution um, and as it says it's normally used for a, uh, as a disinfectant. Now. Um, each of these vegetables contains um, an enzyme called catalase. Now apparently um, when uh, you expose it to hydrogen peroxide it reacts with the hydrogen peroxide and actually breaks down um, the hydrogen peroxide into water and uh, oxygen. And now this is a process that um, happens internally within your body. Um, and what I'm interested in seeing is um, what happens with these different types of vegetables which apparently contain uh, differing levels of catalase and I'm actually interested in finding out uh, which ones in particular have higher levels um, than the other ones. Now apparently I mean the classic experiment that you'll see um, is just using a sort of a standard white potato but um, you know if you do a bit more research on this you'll see that uh, uh, the enzyme is present in lots of other um, types of vegetables as well. Now all of these are kind of roughly cut to the same size with roughly the same amount of um, hydrogen peroxide in each glass. Now um, none of these have been cooked because um, as you can see from other experiments if you do cook any of these vegetables um, and then you add them to hydrogen peroxide the, uh, the temperature will actually denature the um, enzyme which basically stops it from working. So yeah all of these uh, samples are the different vegetables are roughly cut to the same size and they're all raw. So hopefully when we add them to the hydrogen peroxide solution uh, we should see the reaction take place. Um, so what I'll do is um, drop these in and then what we're looking for is, is obviously bubbling that's going to occur which is obviously the um, oxygen that is being released um, as part of the reaction. So I'm going to drop them in and then we'll leave it for a while and uh, see what happens. So in with the white potato first, in with the sweet potato, in with the parsnip and in with the carrot. So already we can start seeing that um, we're getting quite a lot of bubbling already. If we hold the uh, camera up here on each one can see that the potato uh, seems to be doing quite well um, and there's the sweet potato that seems to be producing quite a lot as well uh, the parsnip seems to be producing quite a lot of bubbles there and the carrot uh, seems to be doing the least amount so I'm going to leave these for a while and then we'll see um, what's going to happen with this but at the moment I would probably say the parsnip and the sweet potato seem to be producing the most amount of bubbles. But yeah, we'll uh, leave this and uh, come back to it and have a look. Okay, so it's now been about 14 minutes. Um, the reaction's still going on. Uh, if we look at the potato, swing it round a bit. Still see it's bubbling away in there. Um, the sweet potato. Again, that still seems to be going pretty good. Seems to get quite a lot larger bubbles with that one. Um, let's have a look at the parsnip. Again, you can see kind of the, <coughs> the bubbles that are built up around the side. Same with the sweet potato. I'd say that the bubbles it's producing seem to be somewhat larger than the, the carrot and the normal potato. And the carrot there is still bubbling away as well. So we'll just leave that for a bit longer, see what's going on. Okay, so it's been about an hour now and um, 
looking at all the vegetables, they still seem to be bubbling away. And you look at the potato, uh, the white potato, uh, the sweet potato, and you see the parsnip still giving you some, and finally the carrot as well. So yeah, I think um, obviously this little experiment uh, shows that um, all of these uh, vegetables contain uh, a quite a good level of uh, catalase. Now there's obviously loads of other types of vegetables I could test, but I was just trying to um, pick some of these ones as, um, you know, you can include these as part of a, um, you know, a smoothie. You can juice them up um, and uh, consume them like this. Um, if you're looking to get more kind of uh, enzymes and catalase into your diet. Um, now the uh, the next part of this, I'm going to uh, take some of the fruits and uh, see if we get a similar reaction, and then try and work out which one's the best. So yeah, just to recap, um, based on what I'm seeing here, I'd probably have to say the parsnip seems to be the best. Then it's um, fairly close between the two potatoes. Maybe the sweet potato has the edge, and, and uh, last but not least, the carrot. So yeah, um, hope that was of interest, and uh, thanks for watching.